So we are going to talk about how to solve first order linear differential equations, which are of the form dy dt plus some function of t times y equals some other function of t. Now, if you look at this equation here, specifically at the left side, you might notice that it sort of looks like the product rule, which says that if we take the derivative with respect to t of some function mu times y, that's going to get us mu times dy dt plus d mu dt over here times y. And you might think that we can turn this left side of the equation into this form. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to figure out some mu that we can multiply over here so that we get this mu next to the dy dt. Now, we could just multiply by anything we want, but we need it to be useful so that it turns into this form right here. So if we multiplied through this whole equation by mu, just like this, notice what we would need this equation to satisfy. This mu dy dt is what we want, but over here, in order for us to get at the product rule, we need this d mu dt to equal this part next to the y right here, which means we know that d mu dt must be equal to mu times p of t. In this case, notice that d mu dt, the derivative, is some function multiple of the original mu, which might make you think that we should use e to the power of some function to pull this off. And in fact, the function that we want in the power is going to be the integral of p of t with respect to t. And the reason that we want this is if we differentiate this function right here, we'll get our original mu back. And then by the chain rule, we want the derivative of this top function. Well, the derivative of an integral will just give us the original back, which means we do get our p of t coming out of this function right here. So in fact, this is going to be the definition of our function mu. And we're going to multiply that through the whole equation, which means we're going to get our equation to be in the form of e to the integral of p of t dt times dy dt and then plus p of t times e to the integral of p of t dt times y. And then that is going to be equal to this q of t over here times e to the integral of p of t dt. Now, what we see here is that the left side of the equation has finally turned into the product rule. So we can write the left side of the equation as the derivative with respect to t of e to the integral of p of t dt times y. This is equal to what we have on this side over here. But notice, if we want to get rid of this derivative here so that we can isolate y, all we have to do is just take the integral. So if we take the integral with respect to t on both sides, and we do that over here as well, this integral and this derivative are just going to cancel out, and we'll get our original inside function right here. So that means that we will get e to the integral of p of t dt times y is equal to whatever this integral is right over here. If we want to isolate y, all we have to do is multiply by e to the negative of this integral of p of t, because then it will cancel out with this right here. So we get that y equals e to the negative integral of p of t dt times the integral of q of t times e to the integral of p of t dt dt. Now, you might be thinking at this point that this equation is totally ridiculous. Why would anybody use this to solve a differential equation? Well, in reality, you would normally not use this general form if you're trying to solve a specific differential equation. Instead, we want to think about the method that we applied in this video and how to use that on a specific case. So remember that the way we got to this solution over here was using the integrating factor. And that is what we called mu right here. Anytime you have a differential equation in this form, where we have the derivative of y with respect to t, and then plus some function times y over here, the way that you want to solve it is by multiplying the whole equation by e to the integral of p of t, e to the integral of whatever we have multiplied by this y over here. Because when you do this, then it turns into a product rule situation, just like this, where we get the derivative with respect to t of this function times y. 
So then you can use the integral to cancel it out and isolate y. But the important thing to remember is this integrating factor, e to the integral of whatever's multiplied by the y right here. That will turn it into a product rule that you can solve just like this.